Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, thank you so much for the, just the beautiful comments that you leave me. Just giving me validation that I'm truly doing the right thing and I'm on the right path. And thank you for the opportunity for me to be able to do that. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are, you know, comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, or even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you're just opening up, telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or just good, you know, good information that you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do this do so and while you're at it go ahead and give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites and thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and showing love and support and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas I mean not hey okas but I'm sorry twin flames connecting through sex metaphysically yes because it's just like you know having a twin flame could be crazy having a twin flame could be just beautiful and that's crazy i just seen an orb just flying around <laughs> but y'all if you've seen that it was just like right here that was so weird but um it is just very beautiful and it was like the stuff that i was reading on i was you know busy helping one of my friends uh get some stuff done the other day and all of a sudden i just felt this tingling going up and down my body like somebody was massaging it or just giving some pure sensation and this is like an embarrassing video for me because I really don't talk about sex but you know it's a natural thing we have it you know it's the way that we express ourselves you know spiritually physically and all these you know things and it's just a technique like if you can do like I, I don't know about y'all because we have twin souls and ultimate twin flames and it's just crazy because it just depends on which one is ever thinking about me at the time or whatever and it's just like you're just connecting so it's like the things that you can do especially if you have separation issues or separation anxiety but you feel yourself having these visions being with your twin flame if you know who he or she looks like or you have a you know a, a description of how they look and you connect through meta metaphysically you connect telepathically you connect through your heart chakra as well as your you know your sacral chakra as well so it's just like if you want to do these things here's a certain technique that you can do because you know it's like you are them and they are you you know so it's like you're loving yourself you're going through that ultimate pleasure going through that that highest dimension just to have that pure connection with your twin flame so if you have no problems with pleasuring yourself this should not be a problem you know uh, if you do it in daytime they said it's best to do it at night because you don't have any distractions you know light a couple of candles and you know late if you're um, you can use a yoga mat or if you're in your bed you have to make sure you're laying flat no pillows behind your your head because you have to be straight flat and um you just get yourself to that point like if um you're imagining yourself being with that person how they would make you feel how would you make them feel you know things that they're touching things that they're massaging or whatever while you're you know you're pleasuring yourself if you're a male you know you, you sit up here and massage the shaft and you think about he or she you know whatever your flavor you know whatever your flavor is you know you imagine them you know doing what you're doing to them what are they doing to you what do they respond to you know what places that you like to be touched and you know while you're going through that arousal you're connecting with them you you visualize them you might be able to hear them speaking to you you might even see visions of the things that they're doing to you as you're doing it to them and that is like the ultimate climax it's just like you keep going and it's just like while you're doing that you imagine you know if you're a guy you imagine yourself inside of her you know pleasuring her in all the right spots you know you're saying stuff to her she's saying stuff to you 
or if it's a female with on female, you know which part, you know, you're touching your clitoris and pleasuring yourself is, you know, you're visualizing her. And if it's, you know, somebody that's, you know, opposite sex, you're you're thinking the same way about them as well while you're massaging yourself. So it's like while you're doing this, you know, you're taking deep deep breaths you're making sure that you're in a place where you cannot be disturbed that's the first thing you need to do make sure that you're in a place where you cannot be distracted or disturbed you know make sure it's all dark you know and if you're comfortable with doing it in the daytime hey it's great at that time too but it's like if you want that you know you you can give your, yourself that ultimate pleasure but when you're thinking about that twin flame it takes it to a whole different max baby so, you know, go ahead and try that technique. If you, um, I, I read about it because it was just like my nipple, my nipples were tingling one day. And I was just like, oh my God, what's wrong with me? At first it was like talking about you're pregnant, but I, there's no way I can get pregnant. So, I mean, there's, you know, unless there's a Virgin Mary and plus I'm abstinent. So, you know, I'm practicing celibacy. So, you know, I said, I just wait. But um those are just basically you know some things that you can try especially if you're having separation anxiety from your twin or you know you're wanting to connect with your twin on a different level because you know if you have that strong connection with them you'll be able to visualize them there with you you'll hear them you'll feel them you know there's times that you know i felt my twin just touching me and it just sends a tingle down your you know down your spine or down that but you know make sure when you're doing this at first if you have candles go ahead and light some candles make sure everything is dark make if you're on a bed make sure it's flat uh, make sure you're in a place where there's no distractions and you know you're cut off from everything and um, when you're flat laying flat you have to make sure you're sinking into the floor Sinking into the planet, uh, like basically, if you do, if you're meditating, and if you have issues with that, you can always call on your spirit guides, your higher self, or even God, or you know, whoever you worship, you can ask to be able to have that connection with your twin flame, be able to um, have that permission to seek within your, your higher self, so you, you and your twin can have that sexual um, connection through the metaphysical world so I hope you are able to you know that helped you you know I, I know how it is to be separated from your twin it can be annoying and if you're with your twin you know this is the ultimate thing you can also do this with your twin flame as well if you're you know y'all are sexually connected that way um, it can bring out the ultimate pleasure so you know I hope this was able to validate you know things for some twin flames that are going through struggles of separation right now and that really want that connection on that next level go ahead and try it and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are blessed highly favored and truly loved and know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days i'm sending it so much love and healing vibes and uplifting vibes and infinite abundance towards everyone especially if you truly need it and we who doesn't need that but like and subscribe even give me a thumbs up and share on your social media favorites hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video drop me a line I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're opening up tell me about your empathic gift and how it's been placed upon your life and send you towards a positive direction and I will see you on my next video much love peace and be wild oh, I'm gonna give a shout out to Matthew Colt I think that's your last name I apologize um Kimber Wolfgang and Amanda Lee I'm sorry that that's the first name that came up to my mind and Laura Kennedy Kennedy what's up sis sorry I have not got back to y'all's uh comments yet but I've been going through so much and I will eventually um in the next day or two you know reply to the rest of your comments and be dropping by your channels if you have a youtube channel as well so i will see you on my next video much love to y'all peace and be wow